Hey guys, it's Sarah. You are watching Make It Between the Pages. So today, guys, Nye and I were talking last night, and I got the sudden urge to kind of make this thing in a way. We kind of started talking about it, and I've seen it been done on Ermagerd Burke's channel. Jeff and Jamie, they choose five books for each other to read in the time period of a year. Like, that's the five books, like, they challenge each other to read that the other one loves that they both haven't read. I'm really excited to do this because we're doing it the same way, but we're calling it the Best Friend Book Challenge, and we're, we pick five books that we love, and we choose those five books for the other to read before the end of the year. And it's going to be so much fun. I'm going to address Naya as if I'm talking to her, but I also want to address you guys and tell you guys you can read these books too. I challenge you guys to as well read all these books I'm about to show you. And it's just going to be so much fun because like there's no set time period that you have to be done with it except by the end of the year. These books <laughs> are books that I just personally love and I want Naya to read them so badly that I'm just giving her this challenge to read all of these before the end of the year and she's doing the same thing on her channel. If it's up by now I will link it down below and it's just it's gonna be so much fun and I'm so excited to do it so let's just get into the books. Okay Naya be prepared. I've chosen some of my favorite books and I'm so excited for you to read them. So the first book I have for you, Naya, is The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. You know how much I'm in love with this trilogy. So, so, so much. You know how much of a big plot twist is in this book, Naya. You've heard me gush about this book nonstop. And I am just so excited for you to finally read it. It's number one on my list for you to read. And if you don't know what this book's about any of you guys out there it is about a girl and she's a princess and she's about to be wed to the prince and like they're kind of an alliance that's trying to form through a marriage and on her wedding day she runs away because she doesn't want that kind of life but she doesn't know that the kind of high thing that's on her back is when she goes to a new town she thinks she's all safe and stuff but the prince that she was going to marry and an assassin that is trying to kill her both come to this town and it goes into their perspectives as well as hers but you don't know who, who is who. You'll think you know who is who but you won't. <laughs> like oh my god one of the biggest plot twists I've ever read about in a book. This book had me reeling like who was who like nonstop. So yes, you have to read this book, Naya. It's mandatory. And it's high fantasy, which I know you love. So you have to read this. You have to. And any of you you guys out there, you read this. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, the next book I have on this list for you, Naya, is, of course, you know I'm going to put this book in here because I've talked to you about it, and I got it for you, and it's going to be the biggest book you're going to have to read on my list. It's the biggest book I've ever read in my entire life, so it might take you a long time, but I'm okay with that because you need to just know why I have so many feelings for this book, and that is... The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. I am in love with this book. I want to read the other two in this trilogy. I haven't yet. I'm so shameful of that that it's not even funny. But if you guys don't know what this is about, it is about a girl and she lives in Russia and she has this big family and she's kind of like the baby in the family and she's, she's just like an ordinary girl. Nothing big has ever happened to her before. But this book takes place when the time of World War II occurs, like the day, the day of the book starting, the World War II starts. And on the first day of World War II, she meets a, a guy named Alexander, and they fall in love pretty much, but so many complications happen in between them falling in love that they can't be together and it's beautiful, captivating, and I couldn't have asked for a better book to read 
like one of my big first books, historical fiction books, besides The Book Thief, was this one and I couldn't have asked for a better one to read because it captivates how World War II was so well. And I know this because I'm taking a class in high school right now about the Holocaust and I really know what occurred and just knowing all that makes me even love this book even more because this book told the entire truth of what happened in World War II in Russia. So it's amazing. I love it. You need to read it, Naya. So many feels, Naya. So many feels. And you're going to feel everything, but you need to read it because I need you to feel everything so we can gush about it. And yes, yes, need to read it. So do you guys. If you're doing the challenge as well, please, please do it. So this next book I want you to read, Naya, is probably going to be the easiest one for you to read because one, it's not really that like hard to read. The writing style of this book is amazing and I flew the, through this whole series so I know you're going to be able to read this very very quickly because I read it very very quickly and that book is Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. You know Naya how much I love this series. You know how much this series means to me and you know that if you want to read a vampire series you need to read this one because this is my favorite vampire series I've ever read. If you guys don't know what this book is about, it is about a girl who is a dompier and a dompier in this world is half vampire half human. They protect the Moroi. Each royal Moroi they get their own guardian pretty much and the main character, Rose Hathaway, she has always been wanting to be her best friend's more because her, her best friend is one of the royalists, like she's literally the one of the princesses in this series, and when this book starts, they're on the run because something happens in this book, and you just find out all these secrets, and... <laughs> That was like kind of a bad synopsis of this book, but it's amazing. You just kind of got to go into it blindly because that's the kind of book this is. Like it's hard to explain unless you read it. And Rochelle Mead does a fantastic job of introducing this whole world and what this world's about and how vampires are and it's just, it's amazing. And that's why it's my favorite vampire series ever because it's just that well done. And you need to read it, Naya. You need to read it. I'm holding you to this book. Yes, read it. Yes. And if any of you want to read it as well, you can do it. Okay, the fourth book on my list is going to be for you, Naya. A Thousand Piece of You by Claudia Gray. You knew this book would be on the list, Naya. You knew it, you knew it, you knew it. You knew it. I talk about this book so much. It's pathetic. I just, I need you to read it. For those of you who don't know what this book is about, again, it is about a girl and her father has just died. And her father and mother created this device and it allows you to go into different dimensions and the person who killed her father, I guess, wanted this, this device. So she goes on a hunt to find his killer, which to do that she has to go into different dimensions which it's amazingly written for one and I'd never heard about different dimensions before this book and I just like fell in love with it because of that and because the cover of course but just like this whole book like it's a puzzle you want to uncover and as the book develops and goes on and on you just want to know more and it's just like wishy-washy the whole time and it goes back and forth between flashbacks of when she was younger and when she was older. She goes into a bunch of different dimensions in this book and it just plays well out like for what she's doing and I thought this was such an amazing book. Such a great version of different dimensions and how they are made and, and it, like if they exist and what could be like, like, because different dimensions are pretty much what could be in life, like, 
what could be if this one thing didn't happen or if this one thing did happen. And it just paints a picture for you so well of of, of what what could happen and, and it's just amazing. Aya, you read it, you love it, yes, thank you very much, I'll have to say. And if you, you guys need to read it too if you're doing this. The final book I have on my list is a book that is very near and dear to my heart because I read this book in an one day. It was of course a cover intrigue for me and I love it dearly still to this day and Naya you just need to read it and you just have to understand how amazing this book is and how many feels you get from it and it's, it's like a survival story. There's no romance in this book, there's no nothing. It's just a girl who's trying to survive in this story and I think it's amazing. And that is The Raft by S.A. Bodine. I read this book because of the cover and because literally it says, no one knew she was on the plane when it crashed, no one knows to come find her. It's just saying that it's insane because that is what intrigued me to this book in the first place and that's why I love this book so much. It's like a realistic book of a survival story that could happen so well and it happens today still that you're so scared for this girl because you don't know if she's going to live and just knowing that it's it completely utterly insane and some of the stuff that happens in this book are so terrifying that I don't know if I would be brave enough that this girl was brave enough to do and go through but she has to because if she doesn't she die and it's just amazing and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I've never talked about this book on my channel, but I highly recommend it because it is utterly amazing and you just, I think everyone out there needs to read it because it is so well written, so well thought out, this book was. And it's not even that long, it's probably the shortest book on my list and you'll literally get addicted to it because you want to know what's going to happen to this girl. I highly recommend it. Naya, you need to read it. Oh my god, please, 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 you have to read this. It's a mandatory because I'm doing this challenge, so yes. Those were all the books I had for you, Naya, and for you guys. I'm so excited to do this challenge with you, Naya. It's so much fun. And if anyone else wants to do this with one of their friends, or with their girlfriend, or boyfriend, or whoever, I highly recommend you guys to do it because it's so much fun. Because you get to pick five books that you love near and dear to your heart so much that you just want someone to read it. And it's like a challenge for them, and it's like a game, and it's so much fun. And I just, I love it. It's so much fun to me. So I highly recommend you guys to do this with anybody anyone it's it's just it's a lot of fun to do that's all I have for you guys today and for you Naya I hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys have a wonderful day keep doing the reading thing and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys